work to it, then it's going to cost us more. And I, I haven't worked at that, but I'll, uh, I will follow up if with you them. would. Yeah. Does that let's get in the water to get the water? It gets blocked by water, but no worse than the rest of the handle. I mean, handling is sectorized during a flood. I mean, they end up having problems. You can get you can get that far, but you can't get any further than uh, uh, the digs carry out a lot of times. I mean, you can't get any, any further than down here to ball field. So, um, so I don't want to say anywhere else. Well, most of the time when we have a flood, we don't have a power outage with the flood. Most of the time, the, the power outage is due to winds and, and uh, snow. And uh, whether it's good or bad, usually the power stays on when the water's up. So, uh, Seems to me like out, out on the ridge out there at the farm area, when the, the electric goes off, the water comes up. <laughs> I don't know. They say we can't get in and fix the, the electric because the water's on the road. I'm like, oh, okay. So, so you check out and get back to Okay, us. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience that's not on the agenda that would like to speak with us? No. And we'll go on to commission concerns. Um, just an update here, commissioners. Uh, we do have a public test with electronic voting machines for the early voting tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the voting room. We will be uh, tabulating, and all of that will be approved. And I need at least two commissioners there. 10 o'clock? 10 a.m. Okay. You want to talk about the next item? Uh, the next item I told Judy to put down there uh, says football field, Lincoln County High School. Uh, there's always, since they built the school, uh, there's been the issue, why not, you know, built fields over there, baseball, softball, soccer, whatever. Uh, they built gymnasiums. Well, the school building authority, just, they just have a policy. They don't do that. They don't provide money for outdoor fields programs. So uh, there's been discussion from different people about can we ever expect uh, to get a football field uh, on campus over there? And, of course, the answer is, yeah, we'd like to. but. Money is the issue. Uh, we looked at ways and possibilities, and people have met with Senator Tomlin and saying, "Can you help some way?" And one of the things that uh, came back to me was that if uh, locally, if they could get the field built, that Senator Tomlin would be willing then to help provide money in the way of getting seats, lights, things of that nature. But you got to get the field built first. I think it, I guess looking at it from our point of view, sitting here in the commission, what can we do? I think it, it's, it's not really a direct responsibility of ours, but I think it is if you look at total community and total county, what can you do to help? Uh, I see us being maybe a, 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 a little spark plug, just a small one, to say we're willing maybe to help get this going if you can find other people to really get this going. So uh, I don't know what the magic number might be, but I think it's what I'm going to suggest is that this commission not come up with any real money at this juncture, but us talk about making a pledge that we would put some money out there, 50000 100000 out cold severance money, and say if, if you can find a company, or if you can find numerous people that will meet that money, <coughs> dollar for dollar, then us to come up with a budget of $200,000 or something of that nature that we could build a ball field over there, and and then start trying to go from there. But you've got to have the field in order to get the players at the state to jump in from the community partnership. Just a, a uh, something to help us you know, we've been there four years and we still haven't, I haven't seen any movement, real movement, of saying we need to do something to make this happen. We've seen the girls softball people step up and take the leadership. We've seen the baseball people come in. We've seen the soccer people come in. And we have assisted in that. Uh, we have a request today to help football with some equipment. 
I don't know. But I think I, I just think I guess where I sit is that we need more of that. We need to get serious about this. And part of the reason I, I put the challenge out there is that we have a new superintendent of schools coming on board in July. At least I see the advertisement where they're in the process of that. And that would be a an opportune time, I believe, uh, to start moving in that direction, trying to say, let's, let's do something. Now, that may not be a priority to whomever they pick for superintendent, but I think if we know ahead of time what we want to do as a commission, then that communication to the school board and say, now, there's a challenge. Let's work toward that uh, if we're going to have a number one AAA high school. Let's, let's get involved and do something. So anyway, there is uh, food for thought for the commission and anyone else. Uh, at some juncture, uh, you may want to talk about more, but I just landed out there today, food for thought. I agree. We, we have a facility, building-wise, that's second to no other facility in the state. And I believe that our student athletes should be able to walk outside the state-of-the-art facility and have there on the location of the school, a football field that's second to no other football field in the state. And I know that the uh, capabilities of the people in this county, here in this community, exist for us to come together and make that a reality for the kids. And I join President McCann in challenging the school system and the athletic boosters and athletic leaders at the high school to uh, join with us and Senator Tomlin. And Dr. Vance and making this become a reality. And uh, until that school is equipped with a football field on location, we're going to continue to have students walking from the school to Lions Club Field. And the bridge that we voted on still is being held up in Charleston. And, and one day, we're going to have a kid hit by a car walking around the curb. And I don't know if we want to wait until something like that happens and we want to bind together now and, and make this become a reality for the safety of the children and also for the morale of the county. Uh, on another note, the, uh, the letter that Coach Beck sent for $5,000 involves buying new equipment for the team and two reasons he cites as primary reasons he needs equipment. One is the most important safety. The equipment he has now is not up to standard in some ways to make sure the students are as safe as they need to be. And the uh, other would be to make sure the kids have uh, the equipment necessary for the level of competition they compete. So I think that we should give the 5,000 but also aggressively pursue a plan to build a football field. So on the five thousand, is that a motion to provide that? So would that have to be on the agenda to do that? Well, it probably should be. Uh, I mean, I got no problem second that, but it looks to me like it probably should be on the agenda for the next time, since we don't have it on the agenda for today, unless you would include that in the football. Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's what I would that'd be the probably the logical thing to do. I don't think there's a big hurry in in uh, getting it done, but. Uh, I'm sure they'd like to have a commitment so they can know about their budget. So uh, uh, maybe we can word the motion to uh, that, uh, to, uh, if it's with Mr. Ramey, that, that we uh, make the commitment and, uh, that to provide the money, but we will actually take action to expand it at the next meeting. I'm in my motion to include such language. I'll second that. The motion is second. All yes, the motion carried. The uh, next item I put on there again is a item that says McCorkle.